What's going on guys? Car Review Guys here. My name is AJ and we are back with the 2023 Lexus UX 250H. This trim level is the F Sport Handling. And uh, this is also the all wheel drive optioned vehicle. Today, this is not the full review. This is the five things to love and the five things to improve. If you want the full review, it's already live. Link will be down below. So without further ado, let's jump into it. Let's roll. Number one on the five things to improve, and that is this nice big screen. Love the screen, super easy to use. Where they can improve is just a simple software update. You cannot split screen on this. So I would love to see an update to where you can split screen to where like, you know, even half or three quarters like the map, you have music over here, whatever, to where you can have multiple things. It's one of the few brands that is missing the split screen. So it would be nice to see that as an update. Number two on the list is the rear view mirror. While there's nothing wrong with it, you've got your home link underneath for all of your garage door programming buttons. It is not digital. So I would love to see a digital mirror. Many vehicles nowadays have the digital mirror. So the fact that this doesn't is just a little bit off being a Lexus, but again, not a big deal. Number three on the list is up above us. You're gonna see a sunshade that you manually have to push back. Uh, again, not a big deal, uh, but I will say many vehicles of this caliber are just simply press of a button. You just press it and it'll go back. Now, in this case, you can press it and it will take it back with it, but in order to bring it forward, you are reaching behind your head and you're having to pull it back forward. Is it a big deal? Absolutely not, but is it still something that could improve? Sure. Number four on the list has to do with the camera. You're gonna notice I have it in reverse. While it works, Number one, I would love to see a 360 camera. That would be the biggest thing. Uh, 360 cameras are super useful on uh, vehicles. So especially for a Lexus, I personally would have expected it on this vehicle. It doesn't have it, so that would be nice. The other thing is, is the camera quality could be a little bit better for sure. It is not near the top of leading the industry, which Lexus is usually doing, but this is one small thing that I think they're just kind of overlooking. So hopefully we'll see an update uh, in the future on the camera quality and 360 on this UX 250. Number five on the list is the heated and cooled seat buttons. Uh, obviously they work fine. Right now it is, we're in the shade. And if I were to press one of them, you can see the auto lights up press it again and you can clearly see the buttons uh, or the lights rather lit up same thing for heated seat you can see the difference however if I move this vehicle into sunlight and it's bright during the day you have to literally like shade it and then even still you can barely see what's going on with these buttons so I think they just need some brighter lights I mean I this is one of the few vehicles that I've had an issue seeing. Maybe it's just because it's down here. Sometimes it's up here and you can see it better. I don't know what they need to do, but it is so hard to see. Again, not a huge deal, but it is something that would make it nice and convenient and easy to be able to see. Hopefully you guys just enjoyed that quick cinematic. All right, on to the five things to love. Number one on the list, 
is partially what we were just listing as an improvement, and that is the heated and cooled seats. Super nice to have heated and cooled seats. Uh, I mean, I would expect it in this vehicle. It does have it, so huge fan of that. They actually work pretty good as well. There are some vehicles uh, that don't necessarily, especially the cooled seat function doesn't work that well, and then even the heated seats sometimes, just the way they heat doesn't work that great. This vehicle actually does really well on both, so that's why I put it on this list. Number two is going to be lane centering and adaptive cruise control, which you're gonna see right here on the steering wheel, your adaptive and your lane centering. For those of you that do not know, this can be lane keep or lane centering, or you can just turn it all off. You can go through the menu options here, which are gonna be up there. You can press it and you can see where I have lane center on right there, and you can select it to turn that off. If I turn that off, then it's just going to be lane keep, which then the difference is, if I'm near the line, it will just push you back into the center. Lane centering keeps you in the center of the lane the whole time, even if you're just lightly touching the steering wheel. So that is the difference for those of you that don't know. Super nice technology, and I always brag about Lexus and Toyota. They do a phenomenal job with that. Number three on the list is this nice 12.3 inch screen. Super easy to see. I love the layout. The new design is nice. In combination with that is the heads up display. I will do my best to zoom in for you guys. Hopefully you can see out there. It is already getting bright. I, it's like literally 6 a.m. right now. I am out here <laughs> really early in Arizona trying to get decent lighting for you guys. So number four on this list is the fact that it's all wheel drive paired with the all wheel drive. Obviously it is a hybrid and it gets good gas mileage. So I had to put that on the list because that's what you're looking for in this vehicle. Good gas mileage uh, with the all wheel drive. And you're gonna get, I've already stated this in my review, but 38 highway and 41 city. And remember, this is like a small crossover SUV. So all wheel drive is the key. Yes, you could get way better gas mileage if it wasn't all wheel drive, but the all wheel drive is always gonna use more gas. It's turning all the wheels all the time. You know what I mean? Number five on the list is for the F Sport handling in particular. If you guys are looking for something with a sporty suspension, this is a great option for you because it's still comfortable, but it certainly is sporty because there's not much body roll. Uh, the steering is really responsive. Like, it, you guys are gonna laugh. I'm gonna have a lot of people that are gonna be like, this guy has no idea what he's talking about. This thing would be a blast on the track. Now, it's not fast, but the suspension wise, it would be an absolute blast on a road course. Like that would be so fun in this vehicle. It would do really well. And yes, I've been on track in many a cars, GT2 RS, uh, McLaren 720S, like a lot of cars. I personally own an NSX for those of you that are new to the channel. So yes, this vehicle does have a really sporty suspension for what it is. Uh, so had to make my list. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Again, this isn't the full review. That link will be down below. And uh, if you like my style, be sure to subscribe. And as always, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.